Let me get happy. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a two looks one palette video using the She Glam Gifted Gemini palette. I just got this. I haven't hauled it yet. So like I said, you guys are going to see everything hauled at the end of the month already used and tested out. Because I'm pre-filming, I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. Mostly because I had a giant allergic reaction to some makeup, so I've been like kind of just giving my skin a little bit of a break to heal. And I just ripped this. Love that for me. But it is what it is. I'm excited. I love the packaging. Like I love the artwork on these Zodiac palettes from She Glam. They're, it's just always so super nice. <laughs> okay. So here it is. It's very colorful for what I was thinking for a Gemini palette. And actually all of this is mattes and this is a sequin shade. So that's kind of like, puts a little bit of a damper on what I was planning to do because I actually, I hadn't looked at the inside of this palette. So I pulled out my e.l.f. I Love You A Latte palette to use. This has more neutral colors compared to this i can already tell you guys right now like my sister is a gemini and she would not wear this she would wear more something like this than this so don't know how well that's representing the gemini's okay so i pulled out some of my favorite brushes right now and let's see what i can create of course i am going to prime my eyes using my jeffree star magic star concealer in c0 i think i might i was gonna say Blend it out with my fingers, but I'll just use this Ego Tools shadow brush. And this is my Lunar Beauty Moon Prism palette. Blush palette. I'm just using it as a mirror because neither palette has a mirror. That is definitely something that is missing. It's a mirror. Blending out very, very good, which I already knew because I love this as a eye primer. But the real question is, how are shadows going to apply on top of this? Because I prefer to not set this. I think that I get the best blend and pigmentation. I just get the best eyeshadow wear. Like, I can really test out the formula if I just don't set it. I am going to go ahead and do a base on this side, though, to see if I can do a neutral look. Okay, so in case you wanted to recreate this look, I want to just tell you guys I took a crowd. And I really blended it out with my Perfusion Mattes palette. What I'm going to do is take this lighter brown shade from the Love You Latte palette and put it in my crease to kind of tone this down. Okay, and then I'm going to take this brown and work that into the crease as well. Then I'm going to take this dark chocolate brown and I'm going to put that on the outer edge so I have a guideline for the lid. These are obviously going to be all matte looks because all I have to work with are mattes because I should have looked before I pulled this palette out to do this video. But hey, that is um, sometimes your most fun in these videos. You know, just testing stuff out. So what I think I'm going to do is take this Luxie Precision Crease Brush that I never ever use it for that and take the shade persuasive right here this is the sequin shade i was telling you guys about it's a very vibrant blue i want you to see how good of a sequin shade it is though is it going to come out matte okay so what i'm noticing is that this shade packed on quite well it's not mixing very nicely with the browns though but I mean, what is sad is that it's not working well with another palette it's still got some slight shimmer in it but like obviously like, it's not enough for you to see it like you can't really see the l little tiny slight shimmers in it so I would definitely say that this is not a sequin shade that I would really use maybe only on the lower lash line that'd really be my only purpose so let me finish this look up okay so obviously I threw some brown on the lower lash line cleaned up the brow bone and I don't have anything to put in here so had to leave that bare um Right now I'm thinking this is going to be my neutral eye because this is about as neutral as you're going to be able to get with this palette is literally <laughs> using other palettes. And like I said, this is the only, like I don't even know if I can get any shimmer on here. It's got light flecks of glitter. Everything else is very colorful and I have no idea what I'm going to do with the next look. But 
I think I'm going to channel some angelic in this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is take Playful first, which is that light lilac shade, and I'm going to start with that being my transition shade on this eye. Oh, that is not showing up at all for me. Not that. What I'm going to do now is take an inventive right here, which is the dark purple. And I'm going to basically do what I did with that chocolate brown and place it on the outer edge. Only on the outer edge and like lightly into the outer part of the crease because we're going to put the other colorful shades there. Like I said, I think I'm going to try and channel and do an angelic this look. Because whenever I want inspiration for a colorful look, I always go to her channel. I'm going to use another clean Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to do... I think I'm going to start with Real AF and put this in the crease, but in the center part of the crease. So I'm going to be very, very, very precise with it. I've never done a look like this before, so. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I have my towel right here, so I'm like cleaning this brush off because I haven't cleaned my brushes I really need to. I'm gonna take Rebellious next and kind of put it in the same spot, but like in the purple part as well to try and get the purple to blend into this green shade. Ooh, that's actually like not bad. Right okay, now I'm gonna take loyal, put it on the lid underneath that those two greens next to the purple. It's actually not looking that bad. To swap out and get another wet and wild crease brush because I'm trying not to mix shades. Anyways, I'm gonna take Mind Reader and obviously put that in the inner portion of the crease. This is super hard. I don't know how Angie does this. I have no idea. And then I'm gonna take Savage. and put that on the inner part of the lid underneath that orange mind reader shade. Get a little bit more. Probably should not have tapped it off. I'm going to take Persuasive. Put it on the lower lash. can't believe I was able to use every single shade. I mean, I'm not a fan of this look. This is definitely not a look I'd wear. But, I mean, it's fun to do. But let me know what look you prefer to <laughs> I kind of don't prefer either. I, I don't. I don't prefer either. I don't really think so far. I don't like this palette. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't like it. It does say you're a babe of many talents and interests, which means your mind is moving a mile a minute. Moving at the speed of light can prevent you from enjoying the simple pleasures in the present. Take a breath and remind yourself it's okay to slow down. I should text it to my sister. Anyways, um, let me know which look you prefer. This is kind of the neutral look, and this is that rainbow look I kind of was playing around with. I don't, I don't like either, but it was kind of fun to do. So, yeah, let me know which look you guys prefer down below. I'm going to end it here. So, of course, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. All the social media great stuff really helps this channel out. Remember, it costs you zero to support this channel. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.